Welcome to the code coverage reporting in the Program Analyzer module. Here you will learn how to use the Code Coverage Viewer to display your code coverage results in the Program Analyzer. As a developer, your goal is to turn over reliable code that delivers the desired results. Unit testing is intended to make sure the code works as desired, but in reality it's just not that easy. You are always unsure of complete testing and you are likewise unsure of the ramifications of incomplete testing. Using the code coverage option of Expediter during your unit testing alleviates your uncertainties. It monitors your tests and validates the thoroughness of the testing prior to code turnover. You can be confident that your testing was complete and you can deliver documentation to prove it. No more wondering if your test cases were good enough to drive the test through all the right paths of complex program code. If you have used Expediter code coverage to populate the repository, you are probably familiar with the ISPF reporting interface. This module will walk you through the simple steps of reviewing your code coverage testing results another way. By using the Dev Enterprise Code Coverage Viewer, a graphical interface which can display and report on your code coverage data gathered on the mainframe. The Code Coverage Viewer is accessible from Dev Enterprise or from the CompuWare Program Analyzer. In this example, we go to the Start menu and navigate first to CompuWare, then Dev Enterprise, then Code Coverage. For some users, the path will be Program Analyzer, then Code Coverage. Once the Code Coverage View opens, choose File from the menu bar then choose Repository Selection. This allows access to the code coverage repository populated by testing with Expediter TSO and or Expediter CICS on the mainframe. At this point, if there had been no previous mainframe access through Dev Enterprise or the Program Analyzer, a logon list screen will appear. Here, we select the TSO user ID available, click on OK, enter the password, then click on OK to display the repository selection dialog box. In this example, we add, then select the desired repository, then click on OK. On the next screen, look to the lower left and make sure the Systems tab is chosen, and in the upper left, click where indicated to add the coverage data from the repository to your view. The repository may contain coverage data from many systems, especially if there is one common repository for all users. In this example, one system is chosen. The next screen displays the selected system. Clicking on the plus sign prefix displays the load modules covered during the testing. Similarly, expanding one of the load modules displays the related programs. Two columns of information, net verbs and total verbs, parallel the information found in the mainframe reporting. The remaining columns and much more information are available only with the Code Coverage Viewer and are covered in more advanced modules. For more detailed information on your coverage, particularly to see the statements that have not been covered, right-click on the program to display the context menu, then select Program Analyzer. In the Program Analyzer, you will be able to see which statements have been executed. And you can also easily see your coverage in the Structure Chart 
with the color highlighting set to the code coverage percent option. Back in the code coverage viewer, you have the option to print or export your results for reporting. This concludes this module. Thank you.